Hello there. We'll start by looking at the satellite image for Australia. And you can see a carpet of cloud being unrolled across more central areas. That's going to bring some unusual rainfall from the northwest to the center of Australia down to more southern areas. So things will turn a little bit cloudier and cooler for that southeast corner. But after a prolonged spell of windy and colder conditions in Sydney, we're seeing more in the way of sunshine and clearer skies on Sunday to Monday. The sunshine remains for Perth ahead of some rain that's set to roll in here on Tuesday. But for Adelaide, it is looking drizzly and dreary on Sunday, but there is some improvement Monday into Tuesday with settled conditions. And it's looking largely settled across New Zealand on both islands on Sunday, but we will see some wetter weather starting to roll into the South Island, bringing a bit of a wintry mix to more southern areas there by Monday. Now, as we move to East Asia, it is a divided picture. We've got heavy rain continuing to pour into northern areas. From northern China, it'll pull across into the Korean Peninsula. To the south of this, however, it is a story of heat and humidity, with Shanghai seeing the temperature at 39 degrees Celsius. The heat continues across Japan, too. Hello there. Despite lots of hot and dry weather across much of the Middle East and Levant, the threat of flooding still remains across the southwest of Saudi Arabia. You can see the heavy rain continuing to fall here on Sunday, some of that pushing into western areas of Yemen as well. Now, despite that, it is largely dry across much of the region. A shamal wind is set to ease Sunday into Monday, and temperatures are expected to come down with that. Doha is expecting to see the temperature at 39 degrees Celsius on Monday. The humidity could pick up with that. Luckily, the heat will be back on Wednesday. So lots of sunny, hot weather to be found here. Sunny and hot as well across the north of Africa, with temperatures continuing to build for the likes of Egypt. Some windy weather has set alarms off across southern parts of Algeria. And we are also seeing some very wet weather across that central band that could cause some flooding and some concerns for places like Nigeria, Niger and Sudan. We have got those warnings out for thunderstorms in the days ahead. It's much quieter further south of this. The heat continuing to build for the likes of Botswana, 32 degrees Celsius there in Gaborone. Much wetter and cooler for Cape Town with some wind alerts for Lesotho on Sunday. Hello there. There's lots of summery weather to be enjoyed across Europe this weekend with high temperatures and abundant sunshine. But we're also seeing the development of some pretty violent storms thanks to weather fronts working their way from west to east. The latest of that will bring a bubble of those storms from Ukraine into western Russia. It remains pretty wet across the Baltic states. Some of that rain dribbling into northern parts of the Balkans as well. But for the southeast, it is a largely quiet picture for places like Turkey. A quiet across the Mediterranean as well. We are expecting some rain to drip into Italy as we go Sunday into Monday. That band of heavy rain stretching from Scandinavia through more central areas. Pushing off into Poland, that's where we're going to see some very heavy rain on Monday. Behind that, clearer skies with lots of sunshine, especially for northern parts of France with Paris seeing those clear conditions on Monday. 30 degrees Celsius are so pretty nice there. It looks largely sunny across southern parts of England and Wales, but a band of heavy rain pulls across Ireland and Scotland. Some of that rain pushing its way further east throughout the day. But it is largely dry to the south of that. So lots of heat continuing to the Iberian Peninsula. Temperatures sitting very high in Madrid will be up to 39 by Wednesday.